Huh. Dizzy's real name is John Burks Gillespie. He was born in the country, Chiraw, South Carolina, on October 21st, 1917, and he was the last of nine children. Dizzy's father kept a piano, a guitar, a set of drums, the mandolin, and also a big red one-string bass fiddle in their living room. So they weren't running around too much, but Dizzy had the opportunity to play with all of these instruments. When Dizzy was 12 years old, two important things happened. First, he saw Duke Ellington in a movie, and Duke was well-dressed and presented himself so elegantly. Diz loved Duke's style, and the music inspired him to become a serious musician. He said to himself, man, I'm going to practice not just harder, but harder than everybody else. And this is what made him a great musician. Now, in 1942, Dizzy joined a band led by pianist Earl Hines. Also in the band was a genius alto saxophonist, Charles Yardbird Parker. They called him Bird. They were what we call innovators. And innovators are people who figure out how to make a new idea work, like the Wright brothers with their airplane or Picasso figuring out how to put all of your face in your nose and still look good. The new type of music they played was called bebop. <laughs> Dizzy continued to mature as a musician because he was curious. His interest led him to the music of other cultures. He was always trying to find connections, things that we all have in common. And this was a long time before the internet I'm talking about. 